everybody. This is Bo Dean. It's my pick on the Z Sports Lounge. We got Bugs Beto online, and we're going to talk a little bit what he's been doing in the past, what's going on, and Tiger baseball. How you doing today, Bugs? Everything's great. Thanks, Bo Dean. What have you been up to these days? Well, the Bugs Beto band plays about 150 dates a year, and summer is a very busy time for concerts and the like. And it, between all those concerts uh, in Ann Arbor and Detroit area, we try to squeeze in a few Tiger games while we're at it. Wonderful, man. Now, uh, what does your schedule look like towards the end of this this year prior to the winter time? Pretty booked up, I imagine. Uh, we're booked right through the end of the year. Wonderful, man. That's pretty good. Now, now, did you get a chance to see the All-Star game? I caught uh, some of the highlights. I saw one of the first uh, in in stadium home runs of that stadium's history. That was pretty cool. And uh, I, th- I thought that A-Rod could have uh, t- tried a little harder. He just ran in and uh, shook hands as he was tagged out. <laughs> I thought that he could have at least tried to help Pete Rose and, and gave it full steam ahead to try to get that run in anyway. But uh, it was still great. I liked the game. Yeah, I mean, what's, what's great about watching sports is when you're sitting there and you get to watch history, the in-park home run, I did not get to see it live because I was surfing and doing other things. Um, but just to turn it back and have the stadium just bellowing, the sportscasters going crazy, when you get to see that live, you remember it the rest of your life when you, when you say, I saw the first one. Absolutely. Um, now since the All-Star break's over, the Tigers prior to the All-Star break were just on a tear, 5-0. and the o, They took care of the Red Sox. They are definitely taking the command right now. They look like they're moving into position to really take the whole Major League Baseball by storm again. I think that now that uh, Kenny Rogers has got his, his shoulder back and he seems to be getting back into form, that the Tigers will move uh, ever forward. Now, um, last year when we were making this run last year, a lot of people were uh, a little negative about the Tigers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't hear that this year. I hear nothing but optimism from the Tigers, which is kind of refreshing after last year. Especially after the coming off of uh, being involved in the World Series itself, that people have, have uh, reason to be very optimistic. I mean, the, I just when I sit back and remember sitting down listening to um, pundits talk about the Tigers, even on ESPN, they were waiting for the wheels to fall off the wagon, and I think the wheels finally did in the in the World Series. But you know, I'll take the World Series um, wheels falling off versus never making the World Series. How about you? Yeah, yeah, I don't think the wheels are going to fall off. I, I think the Tigers are full of full of steam and the, the wagons rolling at a good speed. Everybody's healthy, and uh, the team looks great. And if, as long as they can they can hold on to that and their enthusiasm, that they may have a real good shot at it again this year. Yeah, in the beginning of this season, they were hitting a little little slow, um, but they've just. I mean, I don't know why every year when there's 400 games left in the season. And the first 10 games, we're ready to just dog the Tigers. Um, I think you and I were sitting back laughing at that last time we spoke because the the Tigers hitting has just come about the last couple months, and they look phenomenal. Yeah, the bats were a little cold to start off the season, but I think that's true. Too many people make too many judgments right at the beginning of the season. And uh, now that the bats are on fire again, things are moving along at at a very good pace. Now, as far as your expert opinion on Sheffield, how do you think Sheffield has produced so far? Uh, I, I, I'm happy with his production. I think that uh, I think things will continue. I think that he, there's definitely room for improvement, though. Yeah, and I, I think Sheffield might be playing with a little bit of uh, extra passion because of what happened in New York last year. Absolutely. Now, our pitching staff, I think, is the story of the season. When I get a chance to talk just casual baseball, and I'm not a, a, a sports um, enthusiast like yourself who's very knowledgeable in Tiger baseball, I don't think we've seen this type of pitching ever in the Tigers lineup. No, it's, it, it seems to be a, an incredible wealth of talent, and it's deep in many respects. Uh, even Zumaya seems to be getting his pitching under control. Yeah, if Zumaya can actually make the pitch to first base on bunts, I think we would feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah, that's, he's 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 working on it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what kind of drill we could like email him to work on just scooping and easily tossing that ball to first base. Well, he seems to be a pretty conscientious young man. He, he 
his, his, his pitching coaches are probably dialing him to what he needs to do, and he just has to do the follow-through. Yeah, I mean, what an incredible pitcher last year with the speed that he was performing. I mean, the lineup that we have with Kenny Rogers, the old man, um, it, it, I'm, I'm just at, at a gas to think about just – I, you know, this this could be an all-star pitching crew with the how young they are and the years ahead of them. If we can maintain this pitching, we could have the best pitching duels since uh, the Braves. Yeah, it was good to see a, a lot of a lot more Tigers involved in the in the all-star game this year as well. It's a, a lot of years went by and and they're overlooked but for good reason. But this year, I think we were pretty well represented. Yeah, I, I, I view the the All Star Game when I watch it. Uh, when I watch it from start to finish, I'll, I, I, I carry the All Star break a little more weight because I do like having something that they play for. Um, not, you don't see a lot of guys go 100 percent because you really don't want them hurt. You don't want the I E Pete Rose incidents where he just creams the uh, catcher. But uh, it, it's a lot better, a lot better than NFL by far. It's well, especially the Tigers have a lot more. It, it, the people in Detroit have a lot are rooting a lot harder because there's a good chance if the Tigers are back, we certainly want that home home field advantage. Excellent tie-in right there. Excellent tie-in right there. Now you've been out there playing your music and great sound that it is. Um, what's the mentality of the places you play as far as Tiger baseball? It's got to be pretty high. Well, it's just about everywhere you go in the Detroit metro area. There's a lot of fans. I just got back from Florida. I was down in Florida for uh, Joseph Beto's. Uh, the U.S. Open karate tournament, where he placed uh, 11th in the world at one of his at one of his categories, in uh, in one of his katas. And when I was down there, I noticed that there was I don't know whether it's because the Tigers are so hot or because there's so many Detroiters vacationing down there, but I happened to notice a lot of Detroit Tiger baseball on TV stations and in the minds of all the sports people down there. So I think that. Uh, whether it's in Florida or right here in Detroit, it, it, a lot of people are Tiger conscious and they know what's going on, and they they like to be able to uh, come together and root for a winning team. Yeah, and I think the Detroit Detroit Tigers have um, Bugs a great logo on their hat because it's almost like the New York Yankees, the Mets nostalgia. It's got that wonderful flow, and it just looks great when you wear it. <laughs> yeah, that, they're nothing like the old English days. It absolutely. Now you segued into something that I wanted you to talk a little bit about to the listeners. That um, how big this event was. This wasn't a small event. This was a very big event, and your son was, you know, eleventh place. When you hear it, you put in ramifications what that exactly means. Well, there, this was open to the entire world, and people from all over the world did come and attend and compete. 